it's Holly here from your past is a gift okay so in this video I wanted to talk about feeling responsible for others because for a very long time I grew up with that you know that we are responsible for others you know and that it's our place to change them that our love will change them will make them better will improve them will help them with whatever pain they are carrying and it took me such a long time to understand that the only person that you can change is yourself. The only person that you have any control over is yourself. You can't fix another human being. You can't change another human being. You can't heal them. No matter how much you love them, all we can do is accept them just as they are and love them just as they are and when they are ready when they are ready the change will come if they are ready you know some people will live their whole life and never be ready that is their life and that's fine you know it's just learning to accept that things are the way they are, not wanting to always make them what we want them to be. But in this video, I more wanted to address those of us that feel guilty or feel shame because of a parent or because of a partner. Or, you know, we carry these feelings for them, you know? And I think it's because we're so connected to the person but you can't speak on behalf of another person. I've learned that, you know, in my first relationship, it was very difficult because I had the belief that our love could heal them, it could change them, it could make everything better. I had that belief. And it's only been through this second relationship now and many, many years later, because we've been together for 23 years now. And it took me a long time to understand that, you know, I'm here because it has taken me so many years to get this information, to finally get it in my head, to understand. And so if I can save you years and years of heartache or years and years of banging your head up against the wall, that why does it never get better? Why does it never change? Why is... The answers are all here. They're all inside of you. But I'm just here to try and spark that... that inside your you know inside you I'm trying to plant that little seed so in this video that's what I wanted to address please it is difficult enough with you it's hard enough when you're already dealing with your own stuff it's hard enough trying to work out why you behave in a certain way or why you react in a certain way to different people to different situations why you lash out or you get angry, you know, in certain circumstances or why you get sad. Something sad, you know, will trigger a sadness in you. It's hard enough working out yourself, you know, without you taking on others, you know, <laughs> feeling responsible for them. You can only be responsible for yourself. You can only be responsible for your own little soul inside of you. You can only take care of that. That's all you've been given to take care of in this lifetime. All right? So you can give others all your love as much as you want. But let them be on their way, on their journey. And just accept them the way they are. That if they have shame, if they have guilt, if they have all those feelings... Let them be with that. Because in each one of these feelings, in, each, in everything that we go through in our lives, it is teaching us something about ourselves. We're learning something from it. It's reminding us of who we are. All of it. The guilt, the shame, the unworthiness, the not feeling good enough. It all comes from this place of us feeling separate from everything. We feel like we're on our own. And that's not the truth of it. So each one of these feelings that we all go through, it's there. 
to give us a little nudge. You know, yeah, nudge, nudge. That way. Nudge, nudge. That way. They're all little signs pointing you in the direction of your truth. All of them. We have to learn to accept them. They're there for a reason. I keep saying that because it's true. The guilt is there to show you who you are. The shame is there to show you who you are. All of it. Until we learn to accept all of it, we can't be free. If we keep looking at a feeling like it's a negative thing, any, any one of them, any, no matter how horrible that feeling might feel. As long as we keep denying it, and we keep looking at it like it's a bad thing, it's a negative thing, I don't want to feel that, I'm not allowed to feel that, I shouldn't be feeling that. You can't be free. Your feelings are there for you. They've always been there for you. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.